to this video tutorial on the new and improved Tunnel View in Trimble Business Center version 5.3. If you have used the Tunnel View in previous versions of TBC, you'll notice significant improvements to the new version. The Tunnel View is used to examine any created and keyed in tunnel design elements for tunnel corridors in TBC. Items such as tunnel designs, template changes, shapes defining the tunnel geometry, set out points for drilling and blasting, as well as alignment offsets and rotations can all be viewed and edited in the tunnel view. The power of the tunnel view is to view and edit all of these key features from one menu. In this project, we have two tunnel designs side by side contained in one tunnel corridor. You can think of these as your south and northbound lanes. To find the tunnel view, navigate to the Tunnels tab and select Tunnel View. This will open up another menu underneath your existing plan view. Shown in this menu are the various tunnel designs, shapes, as well as setouts, alignment offsets, template positions. In the graphical view, you can see the currently selected shape for this tunnel design. This is linked to the plan view up top. So we'll see if we zoom in to the tunnel that the two views are linked. So I can examine from a cross section view as well as from a plan view. To navigate along the tunnel design, you can use the slider bar at the very bottom. Here we notice we have two distinct tunnel shapes in this design. If we start in the tunnel view on the bottom hand side, we can select any of the existing tunnel designs in the project. In this case, I'll select the northbound tunnel. And now this is moved to our northbound tunnel design here. We can also move between any of the shapes in the tunnel. Here we have two shapes, and then we'll see that second shape here at station 173. We can also key in any station if we want to navigate to a particular one. If you'd like to change the size of the tunnel view, simply drag it up and down. Further along the right hand side of the bottom menu, we can use the left and right arrows to increment along the tunnel design. Under the View menu, we can select any other tunnel or road designs to be viewed in conjunction with this current tunnel design. So here we see both the northbound and southbound lanes. In the Settings menu, we can change various options that control how the tunnel design elements are shown, such as vertical exaggeration. We can change the color of the radius lines the as-built mesh color, and a variety of other corridor display options. And here we see that that's changed how the radius lines are shown. On the left-hand side, we can start with the shape menu. We see at shape one, which is our currently selected shape, all of the elements involved in that shape. We can edit any of this information or add new shapes. Moving further on, on the left-hand side, in the Setouts menu, we can see any existing setouts for drilling and blasting and for doing rock anchors. In this case, we have none, but we can easily enter them in here. So we'll enter a blast hole, and we can enter a start and stop station, as well as any offset information necessary. And here, that has play, placed a blast hole on our design. Moving further down on the left-hand side, there's also a menu for editing and creating new horizontal and vertical offsets, as well as rotations. In this case, we currently have an offset of 20. We can change that, and that will update both our tunnel view as well as our tunnel mesh. The same applies for the vertical offset. We can change that, and it will update our design as well as the rotation if we would like to change or edit that information. 
Moving back to the shape menu, there's also options for adding template positions. So if I would like to add a template at a specific station, I can click in the station box and select that station. So in this case, I've selected 1850 and I can press add template position and I can choose any of my existing templates or create a new one and enter that station. And now you notice we'll have a template here. In the Project Explorer, under our tunnel design, we'll see that that new template has been created. And if we want, we can edit any information with that template. There's also an option to automatically create a template at a station. For instance, at station 2077, select that option. And on the left hand side, you can see that the templates automatically been created. And I can choose to change the type of template that's used and what shapes are involved and then see that that's been applied. And you'll notice on our tunnel mesh that that station has been applied as well. This concludes a demonstration on the new and improved tunnel view in Trimble Business Center version 5.3.